We're back inside PNC Arena getting set for the 68th all-time meeting between these two teams. Tonight's starting goaltenders brought to you by Golden Corral. Help yourself to happiness. Cam Ward, 32 saves and a 5-2 loss at Pittsburgh on Tuesday night. And for Jonathan Quick, it's been kind of an up-and-down season for him, too. Those numbers are uncharacteristic, but he did have 22 saves and a 4-3 overtime win over Ottawa on Wednesday night. The power play was the biggest catalyst, and Carter's two goals to win that game against the Senators. The Kings start with Elias Lindholm at center, flanked by Jeff Skinner and Radek Dvorak. It comes all the way back in the Kings zone. L.A. starting a four-game road trip here tonight. Carolina coming home for a three-game homestand. They will take on the Phoenix Coyotes here on Sunday afternoon. Elias Lindholm scoring his first NHL goal last night in Washington. For Brett Belmore, who takes a heavy hit from Kyle Clifford. Top of your screen, Lindholm tries to clear. Matt Fratton had it, lost it. Now skate to stick for Jeff Skinner, and away they go. Here's Borak, the veteran, off a stick. Deflected out of play by Los Angeles' Willie Mitchell. I think quality call after a big team win last night, and the operative word being team. The Kirk Muller on back-to-back -back nights. Mike Komisarek, veteran defenseman. He has been working incredibly hard. He's going to play tonight, as is former L.A. King Stanley Cup champion Kevin Wesker. At the top of your screen, let's take a look at Rex Express Care. Injuries and scratches. Rex Healthcare is chosen for excellence. Andre Kopitar circling the wagons, holding on to it right to the goal crease of Cam Ward on a deflection. Kopitar has led L.A. in scoring for six straight seasons. The last guy to do that for that team was Marcel Dion, the Hall of Famer. Back in the 70s. Now along the boards, Andre Sekera for Carolina. Justin Williams, the former Kane, was there. Willie Mitchell makes it happen for Dustin Brown, and away they go. Brown had two goals on Wednesday night. Kopitar to the outside, holding onto it. Andre Kopitar in control. Errant pass intended for Daniel Carcillo. It skips out to center. I think Nathan Gerby may have gotten a piece of that. You can see the reduction in net size for a guy like Kopitar. I'm not sure if he thought about it here. Yeah, good but point. It, you know, it's, good it, point. It, it, there's an advantage. Advantage. Yep. Captain Dustin Brown catches him in top speed. And Cam's got to get over quicker than he would have had to last year. Slovenian-born star. Not many players of his ilk coming out of Slovenia. And you would think that would play into the skill set of Eric Stahl, too, because he's very good at that. We'll see as the season progresses. The shallow nets new this season. Stahl shot, body down by Jonathan Quick. The back of the goal dug out by the captain. Off Robin McGear, gained by Jeff Carter. Carter in control, and away go the Kings. Carter now dumps it in on Cam Ward, who swats it to the corner. Fred Belmore, 73 in red for his partner, Ron Hainsey. Hainsey holding onto it on the wall now. Simmons tried to clear, and Belmore restarts. How about Belmore and part of the penalty-killing uh, effort of Carolina last night against the league's best power play in Washington. They were perfect, and they're going to catch a power play tonight in Los Angeles that has a lot of confidence. No doubt about it. Most of their offensive chances via the power play. Carolina 2-1-1 one one on the young season. L.A. 2 up and 2 down. Drayson Bowman off the stick of Matt Green. Green gets after it. Top of your screen, Jarrett Stoll, and out they go, out to center ice. Fourth line is out for Daryl Sutter. This is Jordan Nolan, his shot. Cam Ward said no. Loose in back of the goal, Mike Komisarek takes a hit. Jarrett Stoll keeps it deep. Now the Hurricanes are on it in the person of Drayson Bowman, and out they come. He'll gain center ice and just pushing that puck down low. We approach the three-minute mark in this first period. John Tripp and Chantel with you as always here on Sports South. Out to center ice. Getting to it, Justin Falk momentarily. Now, Trevor Lewis. Lewis from tight range, and Cam Ward hangs on to that one. For the Canes win tonight, all Caniacs win. Get 50% off your entire menu price online order and participate in Papa John's the day after a Canes win. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Veteran Radek Dvorak broke his stick on that last uh, little play up the ice, and Dvorak centerman. Lindholm gets his first goal last night. Dvorak got his first against the Philadelphia Flyers back in 95 as a Florida Panther at the Philadelphia Spectrum. And who was the goaltender? Well, there's a discrepancy. He told me on the plane, Raddick did, that Ron Hextel was the goalie, but I, I've heard now that it's Dominic Roussel. Mishandled by Jonathan Quick. That's like a fish story, right, that grows over time. It started as Dominic Roussel. 
a well-traveled goaltender, and it ends up being Ron Hextall. Well, I mean, the Hextall story has more flair. Until this year, the assistant general manager of these L.A. Kings. We're going to research Kirk Muller. If you missed it in Hurricanes Live, his first NHL goal, he says, as Quick handles that one from Patrick Dwyer, came against then-Detroit goaltender and now Hurricane goaltending coach Greg Steffen. But we're not sure, so we have to get to the archival footage, dust it off, and see if the coach is correct. Now, Yuri Toluski on the wall for Alexander Semin, not out. Robin Regeer, his shot fought off by Ward. Carcillo shut down by Cam Ward. Brett Belmore negated by Robin Regeer on a cycle. This is Jeff Carter, stolen by Carolina's Brett Belmore. Chopped ahead by Mike Richards, getting to it is Ron Hainsey for the Hurricanes. Now to the corner. Hainsey looks around, takes a hit from Carcillo. Stop and start by Eric Stahl, and the Canes now have a chance to reorganize. Uh, a potential development, John. Uh, the Canes are down to five defensemen. Justin Falk has gone to the dressing room. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. That could be a concern. Now Semin tries to walk through that L.A. defense. It's carried out by Dwight King. Making a move on Jay Harrison. He's in. From tight range, they center out in front. Cam Ward says no as he scrambled across on Jarrett Stoll. Through traffic a couple of times, Ward, who has to be motivated in a good way, rested as well with Hudobin playing. He's looked good. Jordan Nolan in control for Los Angeles. To an open corner. Harrison ahead of Stoll. Zalewski coming back for the Hurricanes, met by Kyle Clifford. Clifford holding on to it, looking for Stoll again. Indirect pass, Alec Martinez by him. It could be a breakaway. Chugging after it is Kevin Westgarth. And a good recovery by his former teammate, Alec Martinez. Now Westgarth, and it punched back out to center. The Canes regroup. Belmore goes deep. And this is icing against Carolina. We'll swing it back. Well, let's watch right about at the center red line. Justin Falk, who does such a good job of this is gapping up, stepping up on Dustin Brown and you don't know you oh. think oh boy and he went immediately to the dressing room we'll just have to hope that 27 reappears face off in the Carolina zone Brett Sutter the son of Los Angeles coach Darrell out to take the draw for the Hurricanes out of the corner now here's Justin Williams tied up by Belmore Brett Sutter, not out. Slava Boyne off with a shot. Wide up Cam Ward. Shoulder to shoulder. A good job by Williams on Belmore. Belmore recovers for Carolina. Kevin Westgarth tries to clear, and now it's punched out of the zone by Brett Belmore. L.A. rewinds. The pass from Boyne off intended for Dustin Brown. Ward moves it. Jordan Stahl underneath it. Here they come. Nathan Gerby. Three goals on the young season. Dwyer drops it off. Picked off by Dustin Brown and back out. Maybe a little fancy there uh, with this line that has been anything but fancy. The small, medium, large of Derby, Dwyer, and Jordan Stahl. Now it's carried out by Dwyer. He'll shovel ahead. Robin Regeer looks around. Top of your screen. Carcillo not out. Turning is Jordan. He'll get it deep. Intended for Gerby, who was tied up by Regeer. Now getting to it along the board. Point off working hard. Point off by Gerby. Punched out by Carter. But the Kane steal it in the person of Jay Harrison, who attempts to get it deep. Now Jordan Stahl tries to do the same thing. Robin Regeer. Mike Richards. He did not gain center ice. Harrison gets to the dot. And icing is called as we see Daryl Sutter for the first time tonight. And coaching against his son, Brett. And uh, Brett told me walking in, I walked into the game with him tonight. And I said, what do you admire most about your dad? He said, I can call him at any time during the season and talk to him about just anything uh, that represents that close relationship between a father and son. It's the first time for Daryl and Brett this has ever happened. He coaching against his son. Mike Richards in on... Cam Ward, who adds it to the corner. Richards again, over skating. The Hurricanes attempt to get it out. Drew Doughty walks it. Bring it off for Nolan. His shot goes high. Jordan Nolan. Drew Doughty hammers one. Cam Ward got a piece, and it goes out of play. 13.07 left to go in period one. We are scoreless and just underway from Raleigh. No score here in the first. Well, head coach Kirk Muller really wanted a full 60-minute game from his team after that loss to Pittsburgh. And then last night with the win, he got exactly what he asked for, bringing us to tonight's Geico Quote. 
Coach Muller says it was a divisional game and we had some young guys in our lineup. We said these are the ones that where you have to really get down and give a little extra because they're going to be a lot more intense and his team gave them a full 60 minute effort right to the end with that flurry of shots on Anton Hudobin. Guys? Well, it's going to require 60 against this hockey club because uh, nothing comes for free against the LA Kings. That's why they won the cup and they haven't started the season the way they want to playing 60 minutes and you can tell they were very serious this morning and they've had a good start. They went to the Western Conference Finals losing to the Chicago Blackhawks the eventual Stanley Cup winner. The word from the locker room we suspect this is about Justin Falk. Well all this is is communication of uh, Dave Lewis being told whether or not he's coming back and then Dave re relaying that information to Kirk Muller so they can adjust. 12.51 left to go in this first period. First of two meetings this season with Los Angeles. We're at Staples Center on March 1st. Carolina will go out west late in the season. Jordan Nolan holding on to it. For Los Angeles, this road trip will see them go to Florida, Tampa Bay, and Nashville. Andre Sekera. Starting from deep in his own zone, paired with Jay Harrison. Justin Falk has left the game due to an injury. Now Eric Stahl knocked down by Drew Doughty, and a penalty will follow. And when you lose a player that is, boy, right there at the top of the list of value to this hockey club, you need the leadership to step up. And, Number eight, two minutes cross -checking. And Eric Stahl with speed up the ice does just that. He leads by drawing the cross check from Olympic uh, champion and teammate in Vancouver, fellow Canadian Drew Doughty. So this is a real opportunity. Not only a power play, but Drew Doughty, who would be killing it probably for Daryl Sutter. Carolina 2 for 14 with their power play. One out of seven at home. Sakura walking the line. Skinner with a shot rejected by Jonathan Quick. Getting to it is Jay Harrison. Played right along the boards by Skinner, mopped up by Dustin Brown. And the Ithaca, New York native gets it out to center ice. Andre Kopitar, a bouncer, in on Cam Ward. Carolina resets the power play. L.A. has killed off 15 out of 18 opponent power plays in the early going. Here's Gerby. Sekera. Nathan Gerby in the ring. His shot leaks through Jonathan Quick. It goes to the corner. Skinner. And Gerby hunted down for Carolina. Mike Richards there for the Kings. Now the veteran, Willie Mitchell, in control. He'll get it deep. Well, as I mentioned in the warm-up uh, interview with Nathan Gerby, Gerby trains with Jonathan Quick, uh, with, among others, Marty San Luis in Connecticut during the offseason. So he would actually have a pretty good idea of what Quick's tendencies are. Through the center zone, Elias Lindholm, the rookie now, will shovel it back. Ron Hainsey with Andre Sekera. Sekera through the middle on the wing now. They cross, but they do so offside. If the Canes put the biscuit in the basket during any Duke Energy power play tonight, Caniacs who say the winning phrase receive a free Bowberry biscuit from participating Bojangles restaurants. That's tomorrow morning. Bojangles, it's bow time. Elias Lindholm taking this neutral zone face-up. Boy, was he ever good in the face-off circle last night. He was the hot man. He got better and better as the game went along. Eric Stahl looking for the aforementioned Lindholm, and now at the point, Stahl knocks it down. Lindholm in control. Given a rough ride by Robin Regeer. Yuri Talusti for Carolina had it poked off his stick, and Trevor Lewis does a good job to kill some time, and the Canes are down to that much with their first power play, Elias Lindholm, as we see, to the dressing room. Oh, boy. As he was injured for the majority of training camp and preseason. Talusti. Moved off now for Redick Dvorak. Dvorak holding onto it this way. Looking for Eric Stahl at the point. Hainsey now Semin converting the forehand. Alex Semin inside it goes. Out in front to Lusty. In the lower portion taken away by Quick. One-timer Semin denied by Jonathan Quick. And the Kings attempt to get it out. Semin holding onto it now for Carolina. His shot off the stick of Justin Williams. It goes astray. Out of the corner now. Stahl in front. Intended for Semin. Alexander Semin tied up by Justin Williams. Talusti back to the point. Mike Kamasarek with a spinner blocked by Drew Doughty out of the box. 
And it's wheeled back out to the center zone. That's some pretty good uh, momentum and chances generated from the veteran guys as uh, the power play turned back to even strength. And that's what you're going to need. Down Falk and now down Lindholm is you're going to need the leadership core to really dictate how this game goes. Taking a slot at it. And icing the puck in this scenario is Jay Harrison. And we'll see the injury to young Elias Lindholm. Well, he took a hit from Robin Regeer, and you can see that he was in pain. It's a clean hit. And as soon as he absorbed that contact, he went to the defensive door and down to the dressing room. Lindholm's father, who played for the Los Angeles Kings. Michael Lindholm in the late 80s. Right around 1990. Now in control, Mike Komaserik playing his first game as a Hurricane. Out to center ice. Brett Sutter. Lays it off for Bowman. Gets it back. Carolina on side off the glove hand of Jonathan Quick. Alec Martinez. Along the wall, Dwight King. He coughed it up to Bowman. Drayson Bowman with a shot off net. Caught by Quick. And no further play. 918 left to go in period one. We're goalless here in Raleigh, and it's good to see Justin Falk back on the bench. Commissarek has been waiting a while and chomping at the bit to get back in the lineup, and he is tonight. Boy, has he worked hard. And a perfect team for him to play against. You see, he with Harrison. Excellent to see Justin Falk back. And I should mention, Ryan Murphy, this has nothing to do with his play. It's about the defensive depth. He's a young player. Uh, in a back-to-back -back situation, and, and Dave Lewis, and I, I think he's right, would love to see Murphy watch the game from up top where we watch it, and it, it's going to really help him. He can watch Drew Doughty. I know Dave Lewis wants him to do that, and also watch the power play, and then take that down to the ice level when he gets back in. The phrase coaches use today in this game is heavy, and L.A. plays a heavy game. The Hurricanes need that tonight, physicality. So Kamasarek is in, Westgarth is in. The youngsters can take a deep breath, watch the game as Tripp pointed out. It's situational, and the first of 20 back-to-backs the Hurricanes have this season. After winning the front end last night in Washington, icing is called here. 9.04 left to go in period one. And then another big part of it, too, and you talked to Kirk Muller about this in your pregame show interview, is he wants everybody to feel a part of it. You know, it's a team for a reason. And Kevin Westgarth, Mike Commissarek have been working their tails off. Westgarth may be in the best shape of his career. Commissarek not only has worked his can off with Rod Brindamore, he's been great with the younger guys and had an excellent final preseason game. Robin Regeer this way for Drew Doughty off the glove hand of Sekera. Loose out in front and a good stick by Justin Falk on Daniel Carcillo. And it comes all the way back in the Los Angeles zone. Drew Doughty now will crank it up. Doughty's second overall pick in 2008. He'll lug it out. Great offensive skill set. Doughty at the line will get it deep. Around the boards and back of Cam Ward as we see. Andre Sekera now starts the breakout. Well, you look at Doughty, one of over 10 players on the Kings from the Ontario Hockey League, most in the league. Eric Stahl takes a penalty as he upended a former teammate, Justin Williams. Los Angeles will go to the power play. Justin Williams scored the... Empty net goal that solidified Game 7 for Eric Stahl and the Hurricanes. Stahl was the leading scorer in all the playoffs that year. Carolina penalty number Let's watch 12, it here. Eric just couldn't receive this pass. And it looks like a leg-to-leg -leg collision. And then Eric stuck his leg out just a little bit. Good to see Justin Williams. What a great hurricane he was. Same referees we had last night. Tim Peel, Mike Hosenfrotz working the game with Brian Murphy. And Tony Saracolo on the line. Jordan Stahl, short-handed. Quick says no, and he hangs on. Boy, that's the straight north-south A to B hockey that the Hurricanes want from Jordan Stahl. Good look from the truck. Look at Jordan Stahl just power through and, and an explosive stride. Boy, I'm speaking of the Stanley Cup Finals, I remember, I think, the goal of the Stanley Cup Finals when he scored on Chris Osgood in Pittsburgh that may have really turned that whole series around that they, the Penguins won. Los Angeles, 5 out of 16 with their power play, over 30%. Carolina's only given up two power play goals and 13 chances by the opponent so far. Slava Voinov, what a gem he was in the playoffs last season. Williams with a shot through, body stopped by Ward. He attempts to melt it down and does. And now a disturbance to the side of the goal. 
Time now for the Mo Southwest Grill. Hey, hey, what do you say? Queso player, it's Nathan Gerby. If he scores a goal tonight, all Caniacs receive a free side of Mo's famous queso and a hot fresh chips tomorrow at any triangle locale. Uh, the 14 on the other side from Gerby. I asked Justin Williams a few years removed if it's still weird coming back here where he won the cup. He said it's like seeing an ex-girlfriend you haven't seen in a long time. You appreciate all the great times together, but you want to play well. Stoll holding onto it. Now for Mike Richards. That's so true. Trip. Now Carter wheeling back for Richards. In deep it goes. Out of the corner. Out of that four-man scrum. Thinking about all my ex-girlfriends. I know. That's why I said that. Now Matt Fratton, ex of Toronto. He and Ben Scribbins coming over in the trade for Jonathan Bernier, who's off to a torrid start with Toronto. Now it's played here by Richards holding onto it. Inside, Fratton let it go for Carter, who overskated, and getting to it is Justin Falk. He pays a price. He's hit by Matt Fratton. Back it goes for Jarrett Stoll. Dowdy tries to make a fancy pass, but it was interrupted by Jordan Stahl, who punches it out. One of our storm tracking game keys, nose to the grindstone, and Jordan Stahl's had it so far. Here's Dowdy. Quarterbacking over the line, leaving it for Carter. Carter off of Brett Sutter. A loose puck on Jay Kopitar. Dustin Brown does a good job. He's upended. Play will continue. Carter gets it deep. Ron Hainsey for Carolina. Gloved down by L.A.'s Dustin Brown. He takes his seat as he was hit by Brett Belmore. Stole for Dowdy off a of body. Belmore again has it, and out she goes. Seven may have gotten away with one there. A little bit of a stick infraction, and Austin Cross decided to allow play to go on. Yeah, I think it was a penalty. Now Dowdy. Justin Williams at the line. They cross Kopitar. Give and go. Williams now up top. Negotiating here is Willie Mitchell. He'll get it deep. On Jay Kopitar. Converting here now in the corner is Dustin Brown. He's hit by Jay Harrison. Justin Williams back. Broken up here and carried out. Carolina goes to work. Over the line they crisscross. That's Elias Lindholm. He lays it ahead for Eric Stahl. He has Dvorak out in front. His stick was tied up by Willie Mitchell. L.A. escapes harm. Justin Williams in control. A long bomb cross corner off the dasher, and it stays in play. Kyle Clifford muscled by Mike Komisarek, and now they blow it dead. Mike Komisarek and Kyle Clifford. A little coast-to-coast -coast romance here. And they'll separate. 5.53 left to go in this first period. We are scoreless at PNC Arena in Raleigh. Shining moments, first NHL goals. Jeff Skinner on the left, Elias Lindholm on the right. And I remember you and I at Staples Center. It had an excellent start. His NHL career actually began in Finland where he scored a shootout winner, and this was his first goal. And Lindholm last night, but watch Skinner in front of the net, how excited he is. This is the best part about it. Talk about paying it forward. And Jeff Skinner told me, but what he likes about Lindholm the most is his humility and the fact that he'll make a play when he's got it, but he doesn't force it when he doesn't have it. Jeff Skinner, now the assist leader, will take a look at some numbers with regard to him momentarily. Elias Lindholm becomes the youngest Swede to score his first NHL goal in NHL history, eclipsing Gabriel Landeskog of the Colorado Avalanche, who happens to be a former teammate of Jeff Skinner. And... Of course, Ryan Murphy factored in on that goal, too. You have Kitchener Rangers all over the place as we take a look at the shots on goal. It's just so enjoyable to see the youth of this hockey club and Skinner relishing the role of, yeah, being the elder statesman, helping these guys, Murphy and Lindholm, along. I mean, it's a neat thing to see. Murphy and Skinner assisting on the first-ever goal by Elias Lindholm. Now Carolina gets it deep. Patrick Dwyer, a good look at Drew Doughty. Doughty holding onto it on the flank for Jordan Nolan and back out. 4.49 left in period one. Falk recovers nicely as he sets up Pat Dwyer, who angles off the boards and gets it back in the Los Angeles zone. The Danes will stay home and host the Phoenix Coyotes, led by their coach Dave Tippett. will be here on Sunday afternoon. It starts with Hurricanes Live at 12.30 on Sports South. Now at the top of your screen, Jordan Stahl on and off the stick of Justin Falk now, who turns back in his own zone. When guys like Falk and Lindholm are hurt and then come back to the bench, as has happened in this first period, it infuses all sorts of energy. I mean, I, I can tell you, Kirk Muller, a guy who loves the battle, loves to see things like that. Through the center zone, forked along by Daniel Carcillo, played here by Los Angeles' Jeff Carter, getting to it is Eric Stahl. 
Wide open Ron Hainsey on the wall. Yuri Talusti still looking for his first scoring point of the season. Slava Voinov. At the line, a bouncing puck as we see. Eric's on it. Picked off by Mike Richards. They get on side. He dumps it in. A big line for Carolina. They have to make sure they don't cheat. You know, sometimes you go for those stretch passes. Stall, Semin, Talusti. But against Los Angeles, if you keep doing it, it will cost you. Slava Voinov had six playoff goals last year for L.A., that team that made it to the Final Four. Icing is called here. Coors Light, first installment tonight of Cold Hard Facts involving the 21-year-old Mr. Skinner with five assists this season. The pace setter in the early going right now, pair of them, Henrik Sedin and young Alex Galchenyuk of Montreal. What I like most about Skinner's game last night is he made a mistake on Ovechkin's goal that gave Washington the lead at 2-1 in the second period, but he responded by helping to set up Simmons' goal to tie it. Dustin Brown, and it caroms off the medal. It stays in play. No, it didn't. Lone dead. Cam Ward possibly got a piece of it. 3.19 left to go in period one. And a nice move on the league's part that even if he gets a piece and hits the bar, faceoff stays in the attacking right. zone either way. And Lindholm told me right next to Skinner, I said, how'd you sleep last night after you got home after that first goal? He said, he usually drinks coffee between periods, but didn't last night. So he slept very well. Caffeine has its way with many people. It doesn't really affect me, but I know it bothers you at times. Well, you know, I'm an all or nothing type guy, and I sure have to are. make sure that uh, when it comes to Java, that there's always moderation. Key point, now we're here. Looking for Andre Kopitar. Top of your screen, Dustin Brown in control. Shot taken by Regeer, goes high, it goes in the mesh. 2.50 left to go, period one. They're scoreless, and the shots are 8-7, favoring L.A. And, and at one point, I think they were 6-2, so the Hurricanes have settled in. Yeah. And, and Cam has, I, I thought the first few minutes, especially through traffic, Greg Steffen, the goalie coach for Carolina, is looking for Cam to be in control. And be in control, but then uses athleticism so I think he's he's had that here in this opening period thus far Matt Green now will play it ahead Harrison off the stick of Skinner Lindholm sets up Radic Dvorak who will shovel ahead and deep for the corner that's Martinez's corner Skinner out in front here's a chance a block Lindholm had the opportunity Elias Lindholm set up beautifully by Jeff Skinner Matt Fratton Trevor Lewis now throws on the brakes ahead of Lindholm. Inside it goes for Matt Fratton. He'll locate the puck. Off a stick and all the way back for Alec Martinez. Looking for a tip. None available. Carolina gets to it. Lindholm for Skinner. Loose puck now controlled by Radek Dvorak. And they set it up again. That was a heck of a look there from Skinner to find Lindholm. But Jonathan Quick, if you just give him an extra split second, then he's going to cover it up. Now Mitchell for Jarrett Stoll. Stoll through center over the line coming up on Belmore off his stick and it goes out of play. Well, Jeff Skinner has to be riding a wave of confidence when it comes to finding the open man. And let's watch for 53. Here he is. Yeah, he's a step ahead of the play. Look at Lindholm find that little soft area between the defenseman and the winger Clifford. And Quick comes over and you see just how cat-like he is. He's amazing. Some of the positions, some of the maneuvering he can do down low. Not many like Jonathan Quick. Of course, he was under the gun earlier this week when he allowed a goal from 180 feet out. Scored by the New York Rangers. A shorthanded goal and a dump in. It's hard to argue what he's, the value he has had for the Los Angeles Kings in a short period of time and the odds on choice to be the goaltender for Team USA in the upcoming Olympics. Boy, when you look at Tim Thomas, who's back in the league, and his Conn Smythe performance, I didn't think that could be one-upped. But I think it may have been one up by Jonathan Quick when you look at American-born goaltenders in the playoffs the last few years. His foothold is so strong, they could let Jonathan Bernier go to Toronto, and he leads the league now in so many departments. Ainsey now, his shot goes wide. Made off and controlled here by Dwight King and back out to center ice. L.A. is changing. Here come the Hurricanes over the line. Jordan back for Gerby. His shot angled down by Quick. Wire back to the point. 
Falk with a spinner off a body off Carcillo, and it comes all the way back in Kane's ice. Carcillo had been a healthy extra, but was plugged in Wednesday against Ottawa and played very well. Carter out in front, good stick by Cam Ward, and it goes out of play. Well, there's a battle going on. This is the type of battle you want between Hudobin and Cam Ward. I mean, it's a supportive battle. Cam sees Hudobin play last night. You know, Cam wants to make a statement. Hey, I want to I want to get on a roll here. How about Hudobin? What a nice game he played an evening ago. Bill Ranford, the goalie coach for the LA Kings, was down where we filmed the open to our telecast, and he said, you know, he plays like Nabokov. I said, Bill, yeah. Guess who his goalie coach was growing up? Nabokov's dad. Senior out to center ice. Now Carcillo. Getting it past Justin Falk. 26 seconds left to go in the period. Alex Sennon out to center ice. A good look at him. Scored his first goal of the season last night in D.C. Dowdy closing the gap as Yuri Tulusti. 14 seconds left in the period. Semin from the corner flung down by Dustin Brown. Semin gets back up. Peppered by Brown. He stays with it. They work along the wall. Brown a steal. Setting up for gear and now Carter. And finally L.A. survives. They get it out at the horn. That'll do it. Eric Stahl will be Chantel McCabe's guest when we kick off the PNC Bank. First intermission, shots are 9-8, favoring Carolina. We are scoreless right here on Sports South. Carolina Hurricane Hockey is brought to you by Kangaroo Express, your home of the $1.50 dog and drink. By Moe's Southwest Grill, welcome to Moe's. By the North Carolina Education Lottery, play Powerball with Power Play. Jackpots start at $40 million. By Raleigh Orthopedics, go where the pros go. Raleigh Orthopedics. And by Golden Corral, help yourself to happiness. We are goalless after the first 20 minutes at the Capital City here. And now we'll take a look at the first period stats brought to you by Buffalo Brothers, the greatest tenders on planet Earth. Pretty even first 20 minutes, but the Hurricanes will have to pick up the faceoffs. L.A. dominated in the faceoff circle in the first 20. Carolina is going to get the best that L.A. has to offer because at 2-2, two and two, Los Angeles is grizzled. You could tell this morning. And that's one of the many reasons. This is a very good test for the Carolina Hurricanes. And boy, I thought the way that they settled into that opening period showed a lot of promise. The voice of Trip Tracy. I'm John Forsland. Chantel McCabe at ice level along with our fine crew. PNC Arena Raleigh first of three straight at home for the Hurricanes. They will host the Phoenix Coyotes Sunday afternoon. It starts here with Hurricanes Live at 12.30. Robin Regeer, keeping his own zone. Dustin Brown for the Kings tries to clear. Pat Dwyer lays it ahead for Jordan. Jordan Stahl, little spin on Regeer, holding onto it now. Stood up nicely by the Los Angeles defenseman, and now the Kings look to get it out. Getting to it here is Ron Hainsey, back to the point. Shot taken from well out by Pat Dwyer, is blocked in front. And now Dustin Brown attempts to get it out and does. Justin Williams goes to work for Los Angeles. His shot off the blocker of Cam Ward. Patrick Dwyer back to play it. Pretty good battle on that last shift going on between Robin Regeer and Jordan Stahl. Regeer was one of the many defensive partners that Andre Sakura played with in Buffalo. He was traded at the trading deadline by Buffalo. He was a potential unrestricted free agent. Played well in the playoffs, so an extension was given to him by L.A. General Manager Dean Lombardi. Now it comes all the way back to Jonathan Quick. Matt Fratton sends it back in his own zone for Slava Voinov. Which, unfortunately, with the salary cap, uh, really tied Lombardi's hands with trying to re-sign Rob Scuderi. That's right. He may have been their best defenseman in the playoffs last year, aside from Dowdy, who plays in a lot of offensive situations. But Scuderi was a rock as that puck deflects out of play and we get a stoppage. Now's your chance to win a team-signed hockey stick from Rex Healthcare. Simply follow at Rex Healthcare on Twitter and tweet the hashtag Rex Saves right now. Here's your chance to win. The winner will be notified by return tweet and announced in period three. Well, that memorable run that Eric Stahl and the Carolina Hurricanes went on in the 2009 playoffs, after beating Chara, Hal Gill and Rob Scuderi were excellent against Eric Stahl. 
in the conference finals. I mean, Scuderi is a very underrated player. Scuderi now back with Pittsburgh. We saw him on Tuesday night. Now it's carried out here by Jeff Carter. Carter's shot angled along by Cam Ward. He got a slight piece of it. Mike Richards goes deep. It's let go by Carcillo. Now played here by Andre Sekera. Rubbed out by Jeff Carter. Yuri Talusti lends a helping hand for Carolina. Back out to center ice. You're looking at Drew Doughty. D to D for Robin Regeer, who steers it in. I think uh, Elias Lindholm has gone back to the locker room, John. Marcillo, hammered by Stoll, answered by Ward. Jared Stoll had the opportunity. Cam Ward shut it down. I mean, I could steer clear of it, but I'm not going to. This is healthy competition. I mean, Cam Ward wants his net. One of the reasons he's a former playoff MVP is because of his competitive fire. Look at him. Take a look behind the net. What I like most here, he didn't over push. Earlier in the preseason, he would have come out too far. When you come out too far, usually it represents a lack of confidence. He just got himself set. Heck of a save. L.A. by one in terms of scoring chances. Now Harrison tied up by Jordan Nolan. Mike Thomas Sarek playing his first game of this season along with Kevin Westgarth. Now Nolan downstairs controlling. Up top for Matt Green. He'll slide it deep for Jarrett Stoll. Stoll, good work along the board, scampering away from Jay Harrison. On a cycle now, they get it deep. The fourth line is out for the Los Angeles Kings. It's played here by Jordan Nolan. Picked off and carried back out here by Carolina's Jay Harrison. Little dump and chase. Westgarth is on his horse. He gets to it. Broken up by Alec Martinez. And away go the Kings. Now Westgarth, I think, is in the best shape. At least I've seen him. And you can tell in his speed. Jordan Nolan with a stutter step. Defended by Carolina's Ron Hainsey. Here's Dwight King. King a winder off the side of the goal. Getting to it is Ron Hainsey. Anche Kopitar is on him, and now Carolina in control in the person of Brett Belmore. He's choked off there by Justin Williams. Now it's played by Anche Kopitar. To the point, Willie Mitchell. His shot through a screen, it struck Kopitar, and back out to neutral ice. I mean, Westgard's never going to be a guy that uh, resembles uh, Usain Bolt, but he does look quicker to me here in his first game. Los Angeles offside as they cross. 16.33 left to go in the second period. Well, let's look at the ice time in the first period. Andre Sakura continues to play an excellent brand of hockey. Falk's minutes, of course, impacted because he went to the locker room briefly. But how about Ron Hainsey? Boy, does he not waste any energy. And equipment manager Skip Cunningham, when Hainsey in the Hartford area was less than 10 years old, guess who ran the hockey school that Ron Hainsey went to? That, that man guy, right there. Yeah, that's Skip right. Cunningham. Oh, yeah. A true hockey man through and through. Original employee of this franchise. Now, this franchise goes all the way back to the World Hockey Association in 1972. And that's when a young man from Northeastern University by the name of Skip Cunningham joined the equipment staff. And Bob Gorman helped in that hockey school. Locker saved by Cam Ward. Getting to it now, Radek Dvorak for Carolina. Moved along by Matt Fratton, back out to the center zone. Robin Regeer, right back in. And Bob Gorman, one of the other fine equipment managers, along with George Alves. And now Mike Komaserik, back out to center ice. Talusti to the outside. As the shot is sent along by Jay Harrison. Hurricanes get to it. Talusti off the stick of Justin Folk. Matt Fratton looks around. Kyle Clifford. He stays on side. He rolls it in. Both teams changing on the go as we approach 15:35 left to go in the second period. Sekera, Alex Semin defended by Slava Voinov. Mike Richards now. Here's Carcillo over the line. His shot and Cam Ward had the angle all the way. Slava Voinov, who's had a slow start, that's a heck of a step up on Semin. Elias Lindholm, as I mentioned, has gone to the locker room and. You know, the guys will just have to play through, and hopefully it won't be too severe. You can see the former Maple Leaf, Fratton, who came over in that uh, Bernier deal in the offseason along with Ben Scribbins. Jonathan Bernier had a shutout last night for Toronto in Nashville. He continues to play so well for the Maple Leafs. Now out in front, Carter with a shot rejected by Cam Ward. Getting to it is Mike Richards. Richards on a cycle. Carcillo holding on to it, looking for Carter. A little give and go. Point off, down low, taken down by Sekera. Mike Richards for Carter. Good stick by Gerby. Here's Mitchell. His shot caught by Cam Ward. 
Catch a full hour of Carolina Hurricanes hockey talk with Mike Maniscalco during the Coors Light. Ames Corner at the Backyard Bistro right across the street. The next one, October the 14th, 7 p.m. Special guest, Ryan Murphy. Nathan Gerby uh, mentioned in the pregame interview that he felt wanted here and valued. Ron Francis was the key to that because Francis had watched him play all the way back to his days at Boston College. Kevin Adams also a key part of that recruiting process. Now Matt Green, wide of Cam Moore. Jordan Nolan up on the play. Nolan along the boards, tied up by Belmore. Here's Dwight King. King utilizing his six foot four inch frame, and now Jordan Nolan does the same. Inside it's Ron Hainsey for Carolina. Four checked by Jarrett Stoll. Back out to center ice, you're looking at Brett Sutter for Kevin Westgarth, who's on side. Westgarth is negated by Matt Green. They jam along the boards. Nolan had it, lost it, separated by Westgarth. Inside it goes Sutter. Now Bowman out in front. Westgarth is there. Out of the scramble. Matt Green got across. Kevin Westgarth, good work for Carolina. Now a pinch by Brett Belmore. The Kings after it. Here's Bowman going wide. His shot blocked by Martinez. Hainsey's been put off by Jonathan Quick. Loose along the boards. Now Westgarth is on Green, who gives him a shove. Now Dwight King tries to clear. Good forechecking by Carolina's fourth line. Bowman goes to work. Drayson Bowman with a shot off bodies wide. Hunted down by Brett Sutter. Out in front, nobody home. Picked off by Jordan Nolan. And away they go. Key shift by the fourth line, but the puck carrier right now, Ron Hainsey, I thought made the crucial decision with the play made with his head up just inside the offensive blue line. Well, the Paniac Nation has heard from. They enjoyed that shift on the fourth line. And now Justin Falk broken up by Andre Kopitar. And away they go. Kopitar over the line, moving by Jordan Stahl right out in front. Cam Ward said no. The rebound. Cam Ward got a piece of it. A long bomb for Nathan Gerby, and here he comes. He's sealed off by Drew Dowdy. Dowdy plays it along for Justin Williams. He was given a rough ride by Nathan Gerby. Back out to center ice. They cross. In control, Dustin Brown. Brown taken down by Sekera. Loose along the wall. Robin Regeer. Now Andre Kopitar. Kopitar winds it deep for their captain. Who overskated. That was Dustin Brown. Justin Williams looks around. Stood up by Jordan Stahl. Picked off by Carolina's Andre Sekera. And back out. You don't play, make that play that Sakura did on Brown if you can't skate. Three on two. The Hurricanes cross the line. Offside. 12.58 left to go in the second period. Andre Kopitar slicked down the middle for Los Angeles. But Cam Ward had another idea. Here in the second, it's a no score. With me is my stage manager, Cindy. Thanks for volunteering. And some energy protein balls. These were created by athletic trainer Pete Friesen and Chef Flood here from PNC Arena. They're made with orange juice, whey protein, all sorts of different things, 11 different ingredients, rolled in oats and coconut. I'm about to try one. Good. What was Very that? Good. I, I did not understand the last part of that segment. What, I think she said good. Well, I was told said? as a kid, don't talk with your mouth. Never. But I will tell you, nutrition so important. Now, now it's carried out in front. Carolina going down a good block by Jeff Skinner off the stick of Matt Pratt. In control, Mike Commissarek. Back out to center ice. There was a day it just had a candy bar. That about did it. Those days are long gone. Back cleared out of the zone that time. Iced by the Hurricanes as it was sent out by Radek Dvorak. Well, you only have a chance to be fresh, even with the conditioning of these world-class athletes. Well, if you stay warm, like Pete Fraser. My but, goodness, Nanook. <laughs> Nanook of the North, folks. He's going to Anchorage after the yep, game in the Fairbanks. Is. But, you know, the you are what you eat. I know it's cliche. But those, uh, those are very good for replenishing what you lose during games, which Chantel just showed us. Now Mike Richards winds it up diagonally across, and a tough pass to handle for Robin Regeer, who winds it back. Still goalless in this one. Eight minutes gone in the second period. John Tripp and Chantel with you. We'll be back on Sports South Sunday afternoon. Phoenix is here. Check your local listings. Now it's Daniel Carcillo. Mike Richards out in front, rejected by Ron Hainsey. Good play there. And now turning back is Alexander Semin. Long bomb. Good pass for Yuri Toluski. His shot easily detected by Jonathan Quick. I'm sure a lot of the Canes fans are saying, well, what's going on with Yuri Toluski? 
Now, I will tell you this. His one area of focus this summer was to try to get quicker. And he did sprints all summer long, actually training with the guy he's trained with for many years, Tomas Placanitz, a fellow Czech. We know him, of course, being an excellent Montreal Canadian. It just hasn't started for him. He's a streaky guy. Didn't get his first goal until 10 games in last season. There you go. And he scored 23. You throw right that out. It's a 40-goal season. 23 in 48 games. So... But he does have pressure now. You have to say that, to be fair. He has the bar set, and the expectation is there to get back to the 20-goal, maybe the 30-goal plateau, playing with Eric Stahl and Alex Semin. L.A. Kings know who he is. And, and last right. year, Yuri Tulusti, I know first-round draft pick, but might have caught teams by surprise. Now they, they know who 19 is for Carolina. Well, that line was dominant a season ago, so they are circled every time the Canes play an opponent in that locker room on the other side now. Andre Kopitar, good back check by Tulusti. Kopitar stays with it. Sakara fronts in. Williams back for Mitchell. Willie Mitchell all the way across. Point off. Off a of body. It trickles in. Cam Ward shuts it down, and Carolina will survive. Key back check prior to that from Tulusti. Now Simmon gets room. His shot rolls out in front. A block by Mitchell. Willie Mitchell recovers. He missed all of last season with a knee injury, and it comes back out to center ice. Drayson Bowman. Simmon give and go. Bowman again. Good stick check by Slava Voinov. And the Kings are on it. Bowman didn't know that Seven was going to give him that puck back so quickly. And, and you could tell that he didn't know what to do with it. Right. Now Dustin Brown back out. Take a look at the shots on goal. It goes deep. Nolan's on it. Nolan out of the corner. Checked by Carolina's Kevin Westgard. It's a four-man scrum. Jarrett Stoll. Brett Sutter on the boards for the Hurricanes. Dwight King. Big number 74 in white goes to work on Mike Kamasarek. They grind along the boards. Stoll digs it out. He stood up by Harrison. Good work again by a great board man, Jarrett Stoll. Back to the point. Green shot caught by Cam Ward. And we get a stoppage. Just about halfway through the game here in Raleigh, we are scoreless, the Kings and the Hurricanes. Well, we see Eric Stahl, center of our pitcher now, and of course he centers the top line. And last year, we'll take a look at a graphic here, Trip, that signifies the production of last season and what they're getting so far this year. And, and, and look at that. This is very encouraging because it's only a matter of time until this electrifying line catches its sea legs. But to get the type of balance that Carolina didn't get last year. Jordan Stahl's line chipping in with Gerby with his three. Jeff Skinner, the playmaking man that he's been with, Radek Dvorak and, and Elias Lindholm last night. I mean, that's the type of balance that you really need. That's the key because any team in this league can shut down one line. But if you get support scoring, it's going to open up that line once again, and then you'll have the balance in the four lines that Kirk Muller's looking for. The third line in hockey, it's the difference between winning and losing, and even when Carolina was going in the first half of the shortened season last year, they couldn't get production from their third line. Right. And they've already gotten it in this first week of the season. 9.42 left in the second period. The top line will come out now as we see. Eric Stahl centering Yuri Tulusti and Alexander Simmons. Daryl Sutter throws out Mike Richards, Jeff Carter, and Daniel Carcillo. Robin Regeer paired on defense with Drew Doughty. Through the center zone all the way back. No icing here. It's fielded by Cam Ward. Right on the tape of Eric. Eric Stahl lead pass for Tulusti. Tulusti over the line gets it by Doughty. He goes to work. Regeer says hello. Loose in back of the goal now. Semin grinding for Carolina. So is Mike Richards for the Kings. It's worked along the boards. Top of your screen, Andre Sekera taken care of by Jeff Carter. Carolina applies pressure deep in the Los Angeles zone as Carcillo gets it out. Boy, this is the Philadelphia West line as Carter Richards and yeah. Carcillo. And, you, and Dean Lombardi, the fine general manager for Los Angeles, has ties to the Philadelphia organization. Philadelphia trailing the opponent that is here on Sunday. They're playing in South Philly tonight. The Coyotes have a 1-0 lead over the Flyers. Now it's Dwyer. His shot wide of Jonathan Quick. Played by Nathan Gerby, who took a hit from Slava Voinov. Now Justin Williams for Dustin Brown. And out they come. Brown approaching Ron Hainsey, moving it by him. Andre Kopitar is defended by Brett Belmore. Kopitar goes down. Belmore stays with it. 
Williams closed the gap on him, and now Mitchell has it at dead center. Boy, Belmore knows his niche. It's a penalty-killing guy, physical guy, good battle there. Kopitar looking for Williams. Good stick by Ron Hainsey. Nathan Gerby back in his own zone. He'll set it up. See, this defense, everybody knows their role. Well, you have the offensive guys, but then you have a guy like Belmore. Physical, you're going to be relied on to kill penalties, as he did on Ovechkin last night. And I think that's why the three pairings, or if you throw Kamasarek in, they have good chemistry. A little chip and chase by the Kings. Nice stick handling by Brett Belmore. In controls Pat Dwyer. Aerial pass for Bowman. Pawed down by Matt Green, and now Brett Sutter is on it. Sutter inside the line. Belmore tries to get to it. Nolan is on him. Alec Martinez for the Kings. Dwight King lays it ahead for Stoll. Broken up by Belmore in the neutral zone. Brett Sutter gave it away. Jordan Nolan gets it deep. Cam Ward legally now in the trapezoid is out to play it. From the corner, Hainsey. Sutter readies for a hit thrown at him by Jordan Nolan, who hunts it down. Nolan goes to work. He's checked hard by Sutter. Out in front, it rolls around. Stoll keeps it deep. I'm sorry, this is Trevor Lewis. Lewis in control. His shot. Cam Ward got a piece. Martinez looking to bake it off Ward, who got back. And, and technically, that was a very good save by Cam because he's got to get that skate right to the post. Otherwise, the bank happens. Puck was batted down with a high stick. We get a stoppage. A tired Brett Belmore. Long second period change. He was not the strong side, but the weak side defenseman, so he was on for a long time. Watch Cam here with the leg. Gets it right to the post. If he gets it to the post, it's going to be very difficult to bank that puck in. If there's area between that pad and the post, it can redirect in 1-0 Kings. You see the face-off in the Los Angeles zone. Jeff Skinner will take this draw and win it back. Jay Harrison with a spinner wide of Jonathan Quick. Mike Kamasarek down the wall on Kyle Clifford. Matt Fratton for L.A. Now Clifford at the line with Trevor Lewis. Lewis going hard as Clifford was taken down, and that got a rise from the crowd. Without his stick, Dvorak tries to clear. In control, it's Dowdy. His shot sealed off by Cam Ward. The Carolina Alehouse, the only place to catch the Canes on the road. We're talking about cool bars. The next stop is in North Raleigh on November 21st. The Canes are in Detroit. Log on to carolinahurricanes.com for more details. Well, you can't teach games play. Mike Kamasarek loses his stick. That has a nice collision with no stick, but Braddock Dvorak over 1,200 games knows it's more important for the defenseman to have the stick, so he gives his to Michael Kamasarek. Here late in the second period. Still looking for her first goal. Dowdy shot wide of Cam Ward. And to it for the Hurricanes along the boards. Alex Simmons. Now Justin Falk. He's peppered by Daniel Carcillo. Flung along that time from the wall by Jeff Carter. And all the way back out. Regeer is there. A slight bump from Seven. He gets it deep. That shot actually surprised Cam Ward. It just went wide low. Grayson Bowman. Pinching in with Slava Voinov. Sekera for Carolina. Stall to two on one with Semin. Here he comes. In the skates of Semin. Tries to return the favor. And Jonathan Quick has it. Boy, that was the chance of the period thus far for Carolina. Your two top players with a two on one. With a lot of time to figure out what they're going to do. And Willie Mitchell back there does a good job there of making the pass more difficult. And a two on one always thought if you're going to make the pass you have to make it by the tops of the circles you see there just a little bit after that's got to be a quality scoring chance and those two come in on a two-on-one and it was not now Jordan tries to kick it ahead broken up it's carried out here and a good look at Slava Voinov he goes off the stick of Brett Belmore comes all the way back out of the corner now Jordan Stahl tries to get away Justin Williams checked by Ron Hainsey from the corner a good job here by Jordan Stahl for Pat Dwyer they escape harm and out they come you're looking at Nathan Gerby who shovels it past Willie Mitchell especially in a game like this where there haven't been a ton of chances and the Canes have just 13 shots Dwyer shot quick makes the save and the rebound we saw it right over the stick of Nathan Gerby Justin Williams off the stick of Ron Hainsey. It goes deep. In control on Jay Kopitar. Kopitar winds it down low, and now Carolina takes control. Well, that's uh, king-like there. First the two-on-one, and then 
Kirby getting behind the L.A. defense there for that uh, chance in the crease. A couple of cracks here. Remember, first game out east for Los Angeles, still getting acclimated. They played Wednesday night at home against Ottawa, a game they won in overtime as icing is called. It's just simple, north-south, straight A to B hockey for this line. Small, medium, large. There's the small portion. I mean, Kirby's alone. As both Voinov, who's had a bit of a slow start this year, and Willie Mitchell had departed the zone, and, and Nathan Gerby nearly scores his fourth. Eric Stahl comes out to take this face off, opposed by Jarrett Stoll. Stoll wins it back. Martinez, Thomas Sarek for Carolina. Pitchforks along the boards, down low to Lucy. Now Eric holding, Simmons out in front, off the side of the goal. Alex Simmons pays the price. Knocked down by Matt Green. To the corner it goes. Herrick now goes deep. Simmons has lost his helmet. Played along the boards, taking a hit to make a play. Dwight King. Thomas Herrick shot blocked by Alec Martinez. And now Dwight King. Old school hip check. Thomas Herrick on King. They say hello. The puck comes all the way back. Icing is called here. As the Kings got back in their own zone. And will get a face off all the way back in Carolina territory. That was as close, of, uh, close to a hybrid icing call as we've seen. But prior to that, Kamasarek, who's had a couple of excellent hits in this period. I think the puck has just left, so I, I would categorize it as continuation. So, therefore, a real good, clean collision. You've watched hockey a long, long time. That's like Leo Boyvan. Oh, Leo. One of the greatest yeah. open ice hip checkers ever to play yeah, in this thought. great game of National Hockey League. Activity, Leo Boyman. I thought it was like Raymond. Vladimir Constantino. Well, he was great at it. Raymond Bork, the chief Johnny Busick for a forward. Outstanding. Want to throw in another name? Okay. Casparitis. Pretty good. Now Eric Stahl broken up. To the point it goes, mishandled by Robin Regeer. The pass from Kyle Clifford. Samuelson. Not Rob Michael. Blake, Rob Blake, the Rob assistant Blake. general here. manager yeah. for the LA Kings. He's right down the hall. Go Took talk me a to minute. him. All right, that's <laughs> enough. Now, Kyle Clifford holding on to it. His shot answered by Cam Ward. <laughs> now it's wheeled out of the zone by Radek Dvorak and all the way back. Slava Voinov is on it. We are still scoreless here in Raleigh. 3.38 left in the second period. First of three straight at home for the Hurricanes, the Stanley Cup champion. Chicago Blackhawks are here on Tuesday night. Now Radek Dvorak. Lays it ahead. Off the glass, it stays in play. Willie Mitchell back out to neutralize. This is Andre Sekera. Moved deep by Carolina's Patrick Dwyer. Jonathan Quick leaves it there for the defense. Daniel Carcillo, who's playing the center zone. Richards now on the wing for Carter. Rejected, played outside the line by Slava Voinov. This is a, the type of style this game has. This is where it's got to be hard hockey again. Puck management, our number one game key. And it will be as we will continue forward. Three minutes left in the second period. A scoreless tie in the capital city. He is the subject. Let's take a look at the Hurricanes teeth rattling check of the game presented by Dr. Tom Long, the official team dentist for the Carolina Hurricanes. Well, he played just under five minutes, Kamasarek, in the first period near Radic Dvorak, know, knowing that it's more important for Kamasarek, a defenseman, to have the stick. Yeah, it, he's already eclipsed his first period ice time. Mike Kamasarek watching him on a daily basis, not just his work ethic, but also the way he is to young, the younger kids on the team. You just can't help but pull for this guy. Former University of Michigan Wolverine. He was so excited to go to his first training camp as a member of the Montreal Canadiens. He got in a car. He drove all night from Long Island up to Montreal and asked to see the Bell Center. Just went there, asked the security to open up just so he could see it as a young player. Now shot taken, reflecting wide of Jonathan Quick. He'll sprawl out, cover it up. 2.30 left to go in the second period of faceoff in the Los Angeles zone. And a penalty coming up here. It's going to be a hook. It may be to Robin Regeer. Boy, this is <laughs> primarily even strength game. What an opportunity this is. Los Angeles penalty number 44. Two minutes hooking. Mike Hassenfratz with the call. Let's watch for the hooking motion right in front of the net. And you see right actually up there is Hassenfratz. 
Face-offs, so important. And, and Eric Stahl's in a perfect spot here to win this one because he can power it back on the backhand. It's the second power play for the Hurricanes and maybe a little bit of an opening here to break the seal. 2.30 left in the second period. Elias Lindholm, upper body concern, will not return. We thank the Hurricanes for that word. It comes all the way back now in their zone. 2.22 left in the second period. A loose play. Killing it off is Jarrett Stoll up front. He'll go to the bench for a change here. Along with Trevor Lewis. Fresh bodies for Daryl Sutter. Cleared in by Justin Falk. Matt Green on defense with Willie Mitchell. A veteran tandem played here by Justin Falk. Eric Stahl chops ahead in on quick. Who makes two saves. And getting to it at the point is Justin Falk. Inside it goes. He gets it from Semin. Eric Stahl goes wide. His wrister looking for a tip. Now Semin one more time. Alexander Semin holding on to it. In the back door, Stahl, there he is. Good stick by Matt Green. Carter has it. Here they come shorthanded. Jeff Carter. Yuri Talusti getting back. He centers one. It's worked wide by Mike Richards. Carter again. Holding on to it. Rap chance denied by Justin Falk. Shorthanded. Mike Richards for the Kings. Tied up by Eric Stahl. Good work by the combination of Jeff Carter and Mike Richards. Shorthanded. Gains are down to 50 seconds on the power play. It's negated. Dumped out by Drew Doughty. Well, Los Angeles clearly made a decision, Stahl playing the point, being a forward, that they were going to pressure. And the first time, it nearly cost him. And Quick had to make a very challenging, bouncing save. But then, Carter and Richards' aggressiveness paid off. Now Bowman. Jordan Stahl throws on the brakes. Sekera walking the line. Up top, it's Gerby. A tight turn broken up by Anje Kopitar. Here he comes, Alec Martinez for the front. Good play by Sekera. Kopitar got it back. Here's King. Ward said no. A dandy on Dwight King. Ten seconds left in the power play. Jordan Stahl moving in over the line, holding onto it. Nathan Gerby from the boards wide of Jonathan Quick. Getting to it is Jay Harrison. Harrison for Jordan. Out of the boxes for gear. Jordan Stahl in the skates of Green. Gerby got it back. Blocked by Green. Harrison shot. Off a body. Gerby off another body. It's Willie Mitchell. 17 seconds left in the period. Jordan Stahl on Trevor Lewis. They jam along the boards. at both three and getting to it here. Matt Green for Willie Mitchell. And the Kings now get it out. Carolina 0 for 2 with their power play. Six shots for the man advantage so far tonight. That'll do it here in Raleigh. Two in the books. And we are still scoreless, and we'll see the final block here at the end of the period. Instead, we'll remind you of the PNC Bank's second intermission. Chantel will speak with Ron Hainsey, scores from around the National Hockey League. We will have highlights and analysis. That's the story here after 40 minutes. Cross-conference matchup here tonight as the Carolina Hurricanes and the Los Angeles Kings do battle. The first of two meetings this season. It's a grinded out affair here in Raleigh. Hurricanes and the Kings are scoreless after two on Sports Sound. Ready for the third period tonight here in Raleigh. Scoreless, the Los Angeles Kings, the Carolina Hurricanes, and Chantel McCabe is standing by with Kane's assistant, Rod Brindamore. And Eric Stahl tonight. What makes him such a valuable player to this franchise? Well, I mean, he's a big horse out there, and he logs a lot of ice time. And when he's going, he's one of the best players in the league. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much says it all. Thanks so much. All right. Coors Light, cold, hard facts. Second installment tonight, Eric Stahl. Moving up the ladder in terms of games played since relocation, as you see right behind old number two. The durability of both players, uh, it, it being Brenda Moore and Eric Stahl, and Glenn Wesley falls right into that equation. I mean, it pretty much took a gunshot wound to get him out of the lineup, and I think sometimes we take that for granted. And you see Brenda Moore and Francis in the rafters, as well as Glenn Wesley. A little discussion here between Eric Stahl, Mike Richards, and Mike Hosenfrotz, one of the referees here tonight. Even Stephen Hockey throughout. Not a lot of penalties have been called tonight. 
It's one of those games where a little breakdown will be the difference. I love that communication. Calm communication between veteran players, Richards and Eric Stahl, and a veteran referee in Hassan Fratz. John Forsland, Trip Tracy, Chantel McKay, along with our fine crew here at PNC Arena. The Canes will stay put and host the Phoenix Coyotes here Sunday afternoon, starting with Hurricanes live at 12.30. And Eric Pass comes all the way back. This is icing against L.A. And, and for me, John, working with you for a decade and a half, Eric Stahl, it's a neat, it's a, it's a pioneer of an experience because he's the first real star player that I have seen be drafted by this franchise, break in as a teenager, and then grow as a, a go from being a boy to a man. And and it's been an incredible process to watch. Francis and, and Brindamore, I wasn't able to do that because I caught them after their teenage years. He's joined on this line by Alex Sennett and Yuri Talusti. Looking to bust out here in this third period. Robin Regeer for the Kings. Top of your screen, Daniel Carcillo. Sealed off by the captain, Eric Stahl for Simmon. That didn't work, and now Drew Doughty is on it. Doughty starts from his own end. Here's Jeff Carter, who scored four goals in his first four games. He'll get it deep. Jordan Stahl will hunt it down for Carolina. You see it from ice level. Jordan now turns away from Carcillo, holding onto that puck. Away from Andre Kopitar. Williams had it, lost it. A loose puck as we see. Justin Falk in control. And away go the Canes again out to center ice. Cross corner dump by Gerby. Hammered by Dwyer. Jonathan quick ready. Out of the corner now. They fight for it. Andre Kopitar in control. He's shadowed by Patrick Dwyer. And the Kings get it back out to neutral ice. Point off for Kopitar. Now Justin Williams looking for Andre Kopitar. Williams shot and warned. Said no. And the rebound goes out of play. Justin Williams just said something to his old teammate Cam Ward. Let's take a look at the ice time through two periods for the Hurricanes defenseman. Again, I mentioned that Justin Falk, his time is down a little bit because he left to go to the locker room for an injury briefly in the first period. Quick shot off the faceoff and a good save by Cam Ward off the stick of Dustin Brown. King captain who had two goals Wednesday night in their 4-3 overtime win over Ottawa. This is even compared to his excellent performance against the Detroit Red Wings a week ago tonight. Cam has looked in ultra control. Uh, no unneeded movement. He, he really has done everything he's wanted to with every puck. His movement has been excellent. 23 shots for L.A. 18 Carolina. Nathan Gerby goes off in a line change. Gets it deep. You're looking at Willie Mitchell. Paired on defense with Slava Voinov, who has it. Voinov through the middle. Lead pass for Brown. Dustin Brown shot, swallowed by Cam Ward. No further play. And this is the type of game that Kirk Muller and his coaching staff, I mean, they have to be excited that uh, the Hurricanes are involved in it because this is, this is the way the games go in the postseason. Chances are at a premium. You can't make unforced errors. You have to manage the puck again. That's why it's our number one game key. And, and thus far, the Hurricanes are reacting well to and it. In cross-conference play, you're going to see this, especially with travel. L.A. coming east for their first game, and Carolina playing last night. So a positional game is in order tonight, and that's what we've seen. Now it comes all the way back. Matt Fratton in a foot race. Mike Kamasarek got to the dot. Icing is called. Just about two minutes gone in this third period. And one more thing about the Los Angeles Kings, John. D Dustin Brown, although from Ithaca, New York, went to Guelph in the OHL. Ten of the 22 players on the active roster come from the OHL. I think that has to be the most in the league. Michael Fudo, who is one of their uh, amateur scout heads, used to be the general manager of Owen Sound in that league. That may have something to do with it. They have ten draft choices of the 22 on their roster. Now Jay Harrison coming back. And a penalty is called. Interference is the indication Mike Hasenfratz will make the call. Jay Harrison doesn't like it, and the Los Angeles... Penalty number 44, two minutes of interference. To the power play. Here we go. Well, this is, uh, is going to be a good test. Carolina's penalty kill. Watch left side of your screen. Yeah, it was, it was slight. It was definitely slight. But... Los Angeles' power play, three of the four goals they scored against Ottawa with the man advantage, and we know how good the Hurricanes' penalty killing has been. Jordan Stahl, Jeff Carter. Carter wins it back for Voinov. On the wall, Kopitar. 
Oinoff gets control. This is Drew Doughty. His shot answered by Ward. He spins out a rebound. Jordan has it. He'll move it out early. Pressure has to start up the ice here. That has been a key catalyst. Dwyer brings it. Drew Doughty now quarterbacking for Los Angeles. On the wing, they cross on side in the person of Andre Kopitar. Going down with help from Sekera. Dwyer tries to clear, not out. Kopitar for L.A. Swings it across. Shot taken by Voinov. Stopped by Ward. He lost control. Justin Falk is on it. It goes by Voinov. And now Nathan Gerby hunts it down. He overskates. He gets back to it. Good work by Gerby. to kill time and get it deep. You see, the first option doesn't work out because he can't corral the puck, but then he's able to think, well, okay, what's the next best thing? And that is to just make time go away in the most uh, efficient way possible. Matt Fratton from ice level cruising through. His shot blocker down by Ward. Loose out in front. Justin Williams with a point. Mitchell. Martinez. Here's Williams. Ward says no, and it trickles wide. Dustin Brown off the backside of Cam Ward. Matt Fratton in control. The crowd comes to life, and the penalty is being called out in front. It's a slash, and it... And you see who it... Hassan Prats makes the call. It's going to be on Los Angeles. Best save of the game right there for Cam Ward. Yes, a little luck involved, but he has created his own luck. 14, two minutes flashes. It's Justin Williams. Let's watch. He's, Williams not in the picture right now. That's another look at that fine save with the net presence. There's Williams coming in there. Maybe the, you know, maybe the, you, you, the slash right there on the the toe of Eric Stahl and Hassan Frotz right there along the goal line, four and four hockey. So the former Hurricane who sealed the game seven with an empty net goal. Hurricanes winning the Stanley Cup. Toulouse now with a shot wide off the draw. See the time left in the four-on-four, four, then an abbreviated power play for Carolina. A read by Robin Regeer. Skinner off the backside of the goal, broken up by Regeer. Out they go. Skinner taken down, no call. It's left off for Kopitar. They cross the line with Carter. Leaving for Kopitar, rubbed out by Hainsey. Now it's played here along the boards by Carter for Kopitar. Carolina gets back, and here they come. Jeff Skinner winds it up. Over the line, dancing. His shot blocked by Mitchell. Kalusti in tight. He'll circle the wagons. Hold on to it. Side of the goal, off a stick. Now Stahl gets it from Skinner. Eric Stahl goes deep. The play read by Willie Mitchell along the boards. At the point, Hainsey outside the line and back in. It's offside. The Hurricanes prior to this four-on-four -four situation that has now just become a Hurricanes power play. We're minus two in four-on-four. -four. That's an area that I'm sure with practice time that they're really going to work on. They look better there. They actually played in Los Angeles' hand at four-on-four, -four, so that's a step in the right direction. And L.A. is plus two in four-on-four -four situations. Face off outside the line. Power play ensues for Carolina. You see it. Duke Energy power play. Off the draw now. Fault. Away for Alexander Semin, who gets it deep. Eric Stahl met by Stoll, broken up here by Trevor Lewis. Justin Falk for the captain, now Radek Dvorak. This way for Semin. They reorganize. Here's Falk. At the line, Eric Stahl gets it deep with a hard around. Getting to it is Matt Green. He's pressured by Bowman. Willie Mitchell calmly away for Jarrett Stoll, who clears it all the way back. Boy, Jarrett Stoll, part of that Edmonton team that played Carolina in the 2006 Finals. Here comes Sennon on a change, holding his shot to flip side. It goes off Matt Green and goes out of play. And to finish my thought, Jared Stoll told me that actually while playing for that team in Edmonton, Craig McTavish was the coach. And McTavish told him, if you can become good on face-offs, you're going to play three or four more minutes a night. He also credits Adam Oates with helping him think about how to approach a face-off. And boy, he's one of the true specialists. He's a valuable player. You can play that player anywhere in your lineup. Any line, any capacity. You mentioned his acumen in the face-off circle. Point on the power play. Now Eric Stahl holding on to it away from Kopitar. To the point it goes, Sekera. Screen wrister, tip just wide. Getting to it, Simmons. Tough angle. This way for Falk, encumbered by it. He hunts it down, gets help from Sekera. It goes deep. Drew Doughty for Los Angeles. Along the boards now. Wheeled out by Dwight King. The Canes are down to 15 seconds on this power play. Eric Stahl away from Dwight King. Moving by Kopitar. Regeer getting back at the point. Now it's Justin Falk this way. Andre Sekera holding onto it. Sekera down the boards. Here's Falk up top. He'll settle it down. All the way across the one-timer. Stahl goes wide. The rebound. Quick makes the save on seven and ties it up. Now a 
breaks out in back of Jonathan Quick. Alexander Semin, Drew Doughty, Dwight King getting involved along with everyone else. 14.35 left to go in this third period. You can't score on Quick if you don't get the puck up. I mean, we're seeing differing styles from both goaltenders. A little bit more reflex uh, action from Quick. Cam Ward has uh, really been much more mechanical. I mean, there you see the full split. And it's it's just if Semin has the ability to get underneath that puck and raise his hands up to that crossbar, that's the only chance he's got. Jonathan Quick, Milford, Connecticut. Avon Old Farms, University of Massachusetts. Sixth round pick of Los Angeles. What a great story. Now Justin Williams going deep. Ron Hainsey back to play it. Broken up center down in front. Cam Ward said no. A beauty on Mike Richards. Now Justin Williams turns away from Jordan Stahl. Back to the point, Mitchell, here it comes. Blocked by Hainsey. Justin Williams for the Kings, stood up by Jordan, taken down. Out of the corner scrum, overskated by Mike Richards. Loose in back of the goal, Jordan Stahl. Play red by Slava Voinov. Voinov tied up by Nathan Gerby. The puck goes deep in the Carolina zone. Dustin Brown away from Hainsey. Brown negated by Hainsey. Moving back is Belmore. Belmore tries to clear, and out they go. You're looking at Pat Dwyer. Dwyer with a shot off a body off Willie Mitchell. Slava Voinov is back for the Kings. Around the boards now. Fed along by Harrison. Picked off by Mike Richards. And out they go. 13.35 left in regulation time. Still scoreless. Dustin Brown, Los Angeles' captain, tried to grab hold of the game there, but Hainsey and Belmore were good. Kyle Clifford off a stick wide. It was blocked by Brett Sutter. Trevor Lewis for the Kings. Looking for Matt Pratt, and he was taken care of by Mike Kamasarek. Getting to it is Jeff Skinner. Skinner now starts his engine from his own zone. Brett Sutter, dead center at the line. Now Skinner, they cross, but offside. And in the zone early was Radek Dvorak. will step aside. 13-10 left in regulation time. We have had a great goaltending matchup here tonight. Let's take a look at Cam Ward's body of work. Well, we've seen the quickness, no pun intended, of, of Jonathan Quick's legs. Cam Ward, I mean, it, no unneeded movement, no holes through him. And he has only taken a step out like here when necessary. Otherwise, he's been totally comfortable in his crease, not trying to over-challenge, getting himself set. That puck has been going wherever he wants it to go. Maybe a little luck involved there on his most challenging save of the game, which was a beauty a few minutes ago. Just about seven minutes gone in this third period. John Tripp and Chantel with you as always. Icing is called here. Mike Komasarek wins the race. Don't miss. And ACC football Saturday on Fox Sports South. The Wolfpack are unbeaten against the Syracuse Orange. See what will come down the lane here as ACC bragging rights are at stake. Syracuse, NC State kicks off at 3.30 on Fox Sports South. Again, no Elias Lindholm is a right shot. He'd be taking this face off. Riley Nash also out of the lineup. The only other right shot centerman. Off the face off now. It's won back by Trevor Lewis. Trouble brewing here. Drayson Bowman's after it. His shot off a body off Alec Martinez. Bowman now inside for Skinner. Matt Green gets to it. Skinner a steal. Jeff Skinner draws a penalty. Matt Green was all over him in Carolina. Back to the power play. Encouraging sign. Jeff Skinner grabbing hold of a scoreless game. Watch as he nearly scores. He, he tried to go forward on Lewis and surprise him. And right there with the leg. Quick again makes a quickness low save. And then Skinner continues to play a determined brand of hockey and gets inside positioning on both Lewis and Green. Lewis in the box for slashing John. The Hurricanes are going to have to find a way to elevate that puck to be able to score on quick. Lewis got him first. Green got him after the fact. Lewis gone for slashing. 7-18. Power play number four for Carolina. 12-42 left. Dvorak back to point. Walking the line, Justin Falk. Here's the captain. His shot turned out by Quick. Knocked down by Dwight King. Battle ensues along the boards. Dug out by Simmons. Justin Falk closing his shot. Ricochets wide. Top of your screen. Eric Stahl handing on a pass. Robin Regeer outlets the zone. Early in this power play as we see. Justin Falk. The quarterback from his own zone. He along with Eric Stahl. Yuri Tulusti. Alex Semin, Radek Dvorak. Here's Eric over the line. Now Semin plays it along the boards and deep. Top of your screen, Dvorak. 
Talusti at his side. Eric Stahl goes to work, muscled by Drew Doughty. Doughty from in back of the goal, a great play as he outlets the zone. Well, that's what makes him an elite defenseman. Actually, the Hurricanes' entries on their power plays has not been the problem tonight. Here they come. They gain entry. Semin holding onto it. His shot off a body off Green goes wide. It ricochets out of play, and we get a stoppage. You know, I, I, I looked at what I thought were the keys to the season, and it's tough to reduce them to three a week ago on opening night against the Red Wings. And one of the keys was the percentage of the special teams add up to 100%. Right now, the bottom line is the penalty killing is carrying the power play. And you can see the frustration. Uh, you know, you hope at some point that the power play will kill the, or carry the penalty kill because the kill has been absolutely sterling. Now Williams will salt away more time. Cam Ward ahead of that icing line will leave it for Ron Hainsey. Hainsey now will start. Passed off for Sekera. Ron Hainsey in the center zone off a stick, off Kopitar, all the way back, Willie Mitchell. At his side, Matt Green, he bats it out of midair. Justin Williams for L.A. Andre Kopitar, shorthanded, here they come. Lead pass for Williams, and a sweep check, it rolls in. There's Williams, and Carolina will survive, and here they come. As Ron Hainsey got back, Nathan Gerby over the line, pulls up. Jordan goes wide, his shot swallowed by Jonathan Quick. Ainsey may be hurt. I don't know if it's an equipment issue or not. He just made two goal-saving plays getting back, and he has been so valuable. This would be a big loss. Look at Ainsey coming back through the middle right here. There's the first play on Williams, and then the second one right here. Where does he get hurt? He may have been struck up in his facial area as he went down. I mean, he has been outstanding. Face off one by Eric Stahl. Commissarek at the line. Here's Semin closing. And a good read and a steal by Jarrett Stoll, who sends it all the way back, and that'll do it. Trevor Lewis is up. He's ready. He steps on the ice. And the LA Kings have killed it off. Now Stoll goes to work, turning away from Toulouse. Stolen by Carolina's Eric Stahl. And now Trevor Lewis over the line, walks in, goes wide, canceled by Mike Commissarek, and the Canes get it out. Big block by Commissarek and his teammate as a youth. Ron Hainsey is back on the bench. Commissarek stung by the shot, limped off to the bench, stays on the bench. Drew Doughty scales it past Cam Ward. Justin Falk pressured by Daniel Carcillo. Grayson Bowman along the boards and back out. Willie Mitchell this way for Slava Voinov. As the Kings now will hinge ahead, Cam Ward catches that one, and we're going to face off in the Carolina zone. Ainsey and Komisarek, Komisarek, excuse me for my phonetic uh, gaffe, played together in New England growing up. Let's watch the block here. Ooh, yeah, that caught him in an exposed area, but Mike Komisarek is now putting pressure on it to make it feel as comfortable as possible. Born and raised on Long Island. Trip pointed out, went to Connecticut for junior hockey. Little time at the University of Michigan. And then a National Hockey League career. Now Carter. Richards closing in, blocked by Justin Falk. He gets it back. Carter shot. Stopped by Ward. And the rebound controlled by Dustin Brown. Along the boards now. Jeff Carter. Tied up by Patrick Dwyer. Back to the point. Willie Mitchell, he'll dust it off. It goes deep for Dustin Brown. Broken up by Justin Falk. Back out to neutral ice. 9.29 left in regulation time. Goalless here in Raleigh. Brown for Carter. Sakara, rather, Sekera knocking it down, and now it's played here by Trevor Lewis. He's checked by Justin Falk. Now Jeff Skinner will settle it down for Carolina. Legal play by Sakura in his own end. Uh, Loving that puck to fall. Out to center ice, Alec Martinez ahead of Dvorak. Getting to it here is Matt Green. Matt Fratton lays it back for Alec Martinez. Martinez along the boards and deep. This way for Matt Fratton. Fratton leaves it there. Back to the point, Green. Point to point, Martinez. Alec Martinez off the skate of Clifford. Here's Green, here it comes. Wide of Ward, who got a piece of it. Fratton Dvorak with Grayson Bowman, and away they go. Bowman one on two, shifting gears. All the way back, he goes hard at Matt Green. They jam in the corner. Kings will win the battle. They get to it. 
Alec Martinez options off for Matt Fratton all the way back out to the center zone, and Ron Hainsey is back on the ice. I don't know if people know how good that defensive play was along the boards by Devorah. Moving wide now is Yuri Toulouse, out in front, chip tie. Closing in was Eric Stahl, out of the corner now. L.A. in control, it's Justin Williams for Drew Doughty. Andre Kopitar, Eric Stahl, second chance off a of body. Game by Toulouse, turned out by Quick. Played here by Drew Doughty. Doughty again through center, lifting ahead. At the line, stolen by Toulouse. All the way across for Semin. Now Eric locates the puck, takes a hit from Drew Doughty. He got it deep. Now Toulouse and Regeer come together. Regeer fights off Toulouse. And the Kings now attempt to get it out. Semin momentarily closed the gap. L.A. one more time. Justin Williams. Through the center zone, a lead pass intended for Andre Kopitar. Jordan Stahl. Now you're looking at Patrick Dwyer. He'll go deep on Regeer. They come together and go hard. Along the boards, dug out by Jordan. Jordan goes down in a heap. Broken up at the King defense. Here's Justin Williams, held in by Sekera. Andre Sekera with a winder tip. Just wide by Jordan. Dwyer's wreck chance. Oh, quick comes up big. And Carolina had a couple of chances. A whistle blows. And a penalty is called up top. We'll tell you about it when we come back. 7.16 left to go in this third period. We are back here in Raleigh. A huge power play coming up for the Hurricanes. Yeah, the Hurricanes, with their, their work ethic, have created a lot of opportunities. Kirk Muller delegates special teams. John McLean, Rod Brendamore handled the penalty kill. He's handling the power play. And I think he's trying to just simplify here. And, and this is a heck of a chance because Jared Stoll, you see the hook coming down on Jordan Stahl, is a reliable penalty killer for Daryl Sutter. It starts with winning this base. Jared Stoll in the box for slashing at 12.44. Gary Toulouse, Eric Stahl from the wall, walks it. Centers one off the stick of Matt Green. Eric gets it back. Racing across, but playing it now all the way back in his own zone. Justin Folk. Under seven minutes left in this third period. Scoreless tie here in Raleigh. Alexander Semin over the line, wipes ahead. Billy Mitchell is back. The wall sealed off, second chance. They get it out with help from Trevor Lewis. All the way down to Cam Ward. Again, tonight, the entries have not been the problem. It's doing anything after that. Short-handed. Dwight King walks in for a chance. He scores! Dwight King with a shorthanded goal in Los Angeles. Breaks the ice. Well, you can see the puck has been bouncing in the last several shifts. And Justin Falk just could not reel that in. And King, it starts with a tape-to-tape -tape pass. Stahl goes over to Falk. It just a bit in front of him, and he overskates it. And King is able to reel in that puck. Nice little move to the backhand. You see that puck's on edge, it's bouncing. And the Kings have had an aggressive up ice pressure on all their kills, starting with Richards and Carter early in the game. Tough pass to make cross ice, trying to come up. And as you point out, a bouncing puck. And Dwight King cashes in for the Los Angeles Kings. He scores his first goal of the season. It's a shorthanded goal, the first shorty. This campaign for the Los Angeles Kings. Dustin Brown whistles one wide. Unassisted goal for Dwight King, making it 1-0. Nathan Gerby goes wide. His shot goes over the top of Jonathan Quick. Carolina on the power play. Sekera, his shot stopped. They score on the rebound. It's Jeff Skinner, and the Kings have tied it. Offensive answer all year long thus far. I believe that's him right there. But let's watch. I think Sakura makes the play. Right. Stop it right here. Look at how quickly he gets this puck to the net. No hesitation. I think he saw that Skinner had a lane. And he just wanted to give him a chance. What a play by Sakura. And Skinner has been a difference maker offensively in the first five games. Power play goal for Mr. Skinner. 
Million dollar smile. We're tied at one. Kane scoring the power play thanks to 53. Go to Bojangles tomorrow morning, 5.30 to 10 a.m. and say, I'm a Kaniac and it's boat time. You get a free Bojangles Bowberry biscuit. Log on to carolinahurricanes.com slash Bojangles for rules and participating locales. There is no doubt in my mind that Andre Sakura, again, with his head up, not looking down at the puck, saw that Skinner had a chance to get to a rebound if he could just get that to the net quickly. That is the complete, complete reward if you have your head up as a defenseman. Now Robin Regeer gets to it. Game power play comes through at the right time. They're one for five. Nine of their 26 shots on the power play. Comes all the way back. Drew Doughty. Getting to it, icing is called here, 529 on the clock. Big resilient answer for Kirk Muller, Jeff Skinner. Skinner getting his first of the year with uh, all of those early assists. And both coaches do have their timeouts available in this 1-1 one -one draw. 1406, the time of the Skinner goal. Andre Sekera, Nathan Kirby get the assist. Kirby has points in three consecutive games. Justin Falk now for Sekera. Andre Sekera back in his own zone, pressured by Justin Williams. Kopitar along the boards for L.A. Dustin Brown, his shot, Ward says no. Bruce out in front. Sekera for Carolina. Tries to clear. Tries to wheel it along the boards. A little soft pass brought up by Falk. Carolina survives. Here they come. Eric Stahl, Alex Simmons. Here it comes off the body and wide. On a slow developing rush. Out to center ice now. Hainsey all the way through center and all the way back. Mitchell anticipated that Seven would shoot that puck, not pass, uh, because that's the book on him. Typically, he actually is more of a pass first kind of 442 guy. 4.42 left in regulation time. Jordan Stahl looking for Patrick Dwyer. Matt Fratton had it, lost it. Offside is called here. We get a stoppage. 4.35 left to go. We go all night without a goal, and then bang, bang, we get two. Well, what kind of pushback do you have after not only giving up a goal, not only giving up the first goal of a 0-0 hockey game late, but a shorthanded tally? And the Hurricanes, like I said, have been good on their entries all night long in the power play. This was just a hard rim dump in, and Sakara saw, sorry again, the phonetic chain Sakura saw Skinner with a chance in front. Harrison now for Bowman, pummeled a bit by Matt Green. Skinner goes deep in the zone. Jonathan Quick leaves it for Alec Martinez. Dwight King, the goal scorer for Los Angeles. It comes all the way back to Alec Martinez. Now you're looking at Matt Green. On the wall, Jeff Carter. All the way across for Martinez. He'll gain center. Hard around it goes. This way it's Carter. Peppered by Skinner. They fight for it along the board. Stoll goes deep. Mike Thomaseric for Carolina. Thomaseric, his first game is a cane. Taken care of by Carter. A loose play develops. Skinner is back defensively. Now Dwight King. Jeff Carter. All alone. Stoll. Walking in. Cam Ward says no. Getting to it is Jeff Skinner. Carolina attempts to get it out. And they do. Stoll took that off the skate before it made its way to the tape. Here comes Carter from well out. Kicked out with a purpose by Cam Ward. Played here by Patrick Dwyer. Aerial flip. Neutral ice, Nathan Gerby. Robin Regeer for Drew Doughty. He'll move it back. Three and a half left to go in this third period. A quick up. The Kings through center. Clifford cutting the ice in half. Nathan Gerby, who's all over the place. Now it's Ron Hainsey. In tight, Belmore. Brett Belmore out to center Jordan. Here they come with Dwyer. Jordan shot kicked out by Quick. He gave up a rebound, but it's broken up by Willie Mitchell. And the Kings attempt to get it out. They do. It's Trevor Lewis. Losing control. Now Kyle Clifford. Clifford over the line to an open wing. And the Kings are back on it. How about the composure for Belmore? He settles the puck, makes a tape-to-tape -tape pass that leads to that chance from Jordan's line at the other end. Carolina changing on go. Nathan Gerby sensing that, dumps it in. Out of the corner, Eric Stahl wins a battle. His pass detected by Andre Kopitar. Now a steal by Yuri Tulusti. Willie Mitchell ahead of Eric. Loose for Dustin Brown. Here come the Kings out to center. Williams for Kopitar. Kopitar back checked by Tulusti. He throws on the brakes. Regeer with a shot. Ward got a piece of it. It goes high in the air. Dustin Brown is on it. Dustin Falk is on him. Carolina's Alexander Semin back out to neutral ice. It's a bouncing puck as we see. Now the Hurricanes back in their own zone. 2-12 left in this third period. First game 
three straight at home for Carolina. Phoenix here Sunday. Chicago on Tuesday. Ron Hainsey out to center ice. Los Angeles in control. Dwight King over the line in the zone holding on to it. He'll feather ahead looking for Mike Richards. Brett Belmore is on him. A buck 49 left here in regulation time. Ron Hainsey for Carolina. Reverses the flow nicely for Belmore. Belmore has time and space, and out they go. Yeah, Ron Hazy, hurry up and get to the puck so you have more time. Carter off a stick, it goes high. Fanned on by Dvorak, shoveled ahead by Skinner. At the line, Bowman, Drayson Bowman, throws on the brakes, takes a hit from Matt Fratton, attempts to protect the puck along the boards. He gets help from Patrick Dwyer. 119 left. Carolina four checks aggressively, stole for Fratton. A loose puck back out to center. Gerby's on it. Carolina hinges right back. Chopped ahead now, stolen by the Canes. Justin Falk off the boards. A loose puck now. The Kings go D to D. Bottle point off for Trevor Lewis. Lewis moves in aggressively. The trailer is stole. Trevor Lewis down low, tied up by Sekera. They jam along the boards. Jarrett Stoll on Andre Sekera. Stoll tries to win the battle. Carolina pounces on it. It's Justin Falk. He'll settle it down. All the way out to center. 41 seconds left in regulation time. Slava Voinov, a quick up. Trevor Lewis sends it in. And back to get it now, Cam Ward and Brett Belmore. Young Belmore with a long pass. This will be icing with 28.5 on the clock. Well, I don't think the Hurricanes uh, guys on the ice look very tired, so I don't know if Kirk Muller is going to use his timeout here or not. I don't think that fatigue's an issue. By the way, Skinner right there in the middle, he's got gas in the tank back-to-back -back nights. He changed his trainer this summer. Went to a guy by the name of Andy O'Brien, who happens to be Sidney Crosby's trainer. Off the faceoff, Talusti, 23 seconds left. Robin Regeer coming all the way back. Along the boards, now they get to it. It's Justin Williams. Williams in tight. Tries to move away from Eric Stahl. Nine seconds on the clock. He's peppered by Stahl. Belmore a steal. Plays it ahead, negated by Regeer. Rolls around as we see. Kopitar now for Doughty. Each team has secured one point in the standings. With the bounce back nature of giving up a shorthanded goal, I, I would have to categorize this is already a very good point. Cam Ward has had an excellent, excellent 60 minutes of play, as has Jonathan Quick. It has been a matchup of clearly two former Conn Smythe winners. But now here's the area of growth. We've seen all sorts of growth so far in this young year, John. Four on four hockey. Yeah. You actually have to be better defensively at four on four than you do at five on five. That one four on four situation abbreviated earlier in the game, the Canes look like they felt more comfortable. But this is going to be an important thing to watch. It's something they're going to have to build some confidence in. We have but two goals tonight in a grinding game, a great game, a goaltending struggle. And now we see Dwight King started shorthanded. Well, pass that uh, Stahl just uh, wasn't able to find Falk across the ice. And King scores with a nifty move. But Sakura finds Skinner in front of the net. And, and to have that type of pushback on an ailing power play, uh, that has had a tough time of it. The penalty killing has been the special team star. That's the biggest goal of the season so far there by Skinner. Shots on goal through three periods. Los Angeles 35. They had 14 in period three. Carolina with 27. They had 10 in period three. So we go to overtime for the Hurricanes the second time this season, losing in overtime at home on opening night to Detroit. And the Kings are coming off an overtime game Wednesday night against Ottawa, a game they won in overtime and a power play goal by Jeff Carter. And this period uh, four will start at even strength. To me, if there's one thing I've noticed, and it was a, a part of Paul Martin's four-on-four -four goal in Pittsburgh in regulation on Tuesday, is you can't loop in your own end at four-on-four. -four. You've got to stop and start. Carolina changing their combinations now as they waited to see what Los Angeles would do first. And this overtime is sponsored by Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina. Live for the game, live fearless. Andre Sekera, Justin Falk in the back end for Kirk Muller, Nathan Gerby and Eric Stahl up front. Richards, Carter, Regeer and Dowdy for Daryl Sutter. Sekera, now the captain, shadowed by Richards. 
Eric Stahl for Justin Polk. Tomley back in his own zone. He starts ahead. Now Sekera. Picked off by Robin Regeer. Veteran will look it over. Drew Doughty comes underneath it with a head of steam. Doughty's in the zone to the outside of Dwyer. Now Sekera. Doughty throws on the brakes for the goal crease intended for Mike Richards. And all the way back. Willie Mitchell in control. He'll settle the puck down. 50 seconds gone here in overtime. Justin Williams. Drops it off for Andre Kopitar. Kopitar over the line. Wide of Jordan. Shifting gears on Hainsey. Holding on to it. Kopitar in control. Trading places with Voinov. Cut off by Ward. He sets up Jordan Stahl. Jordan Stahl. A long pass for Dwyer. At the line. He plays it. To the outside. A shot canceled by Willie Mitchell. Hunted down by Dwyer. Kopitar for Williams. They start again. Now they go D to D. Andre Kopitar on the backhand of Justin Williams. Three and a half left to go here in overtime. Williams back in his own zone. Both teams being very cautious here as we start the extra session. Played by Mike Richards. Richards starts his engine out to center ice. Mike Richards on the flank for Jeff Carter. His shot off a stick, off net and caught by Cam Ward. Previous attacking zone sequence, the Hurricanes actually, and it was Jordan Stahl that sorted it out because when you had that east-west motion in four-on-four, you're going to create the open man if two guys obviously go to the same guy. And that's what happened in Pittsburgh on the four-on-four -four goal that I mentioned. Jordan Stahl, the former Selkie finalist, did not bite, and therefore Cam Ward gave a slight rebound, but there was a red jersey there. Face-off will occur in the Carolina zone as we see Jeff Carter and Jordan Stahl. One by Carter. Here's Doughty. His shot off a body wide. Robin Regeer with another bid. Stopped by Ward and manned here by Jeff Skinner. And out he comes. Skinner has Carolina's goal tonight. Defended by Drew Doughty. Robin Regeer has room down low for checking his Skinner. Jeff Skinner attempts to dig it out. Diligence by 53 and now it's Doughty. A good look at him. Drew Doughty starts ahead. 2.44 left in overtime. Richard sneaks in for a hit. A penalty will follow, and we'll see. It's a hooking call. And Los Angeles will get a manpower advantage. Richard lobbied, Richards lobbied for the penalty shot, but I don't think he was going in the clear. Four, two minutes, okay. You know, based on how well Cam Ward's played, I almost would have, if I'm a Hurricanes fan, which I am, I would have preferred the penalty shot. Tough ice. Yeah, there you see. Boy, that's a hard-working play by Brad Richards. Is he in the clear? Oh, it's close. And so now Los Angeles, who scored the overtime winner in the power play against Ottawa two nights ago. Richards got a puck to the net, and Carter, with his hand-eye coordination, was able to do the rest on the crease doorstep. So Daryl Sutter has called his timeout. They will go over the strategy now, as you see it right here. Davis Payne, the former head coach of the St. Louis Blues, one of the assistants for Daryl Sutter, going over the strategy. John McLean has the penalty-killing troops for Carolina. Jay Harrison in the box for hooking at 222. And how about the belief in Brett Belmore to use him here with Hainsey and with Jordan Stahl? I mean, this is one of the reasons the Hurricanes like their chemistry on the back end is there's a, 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 you know, there are some guys like Sacra, like Falk, even Hainsey that sort of can do it all. But his job is to kill penalties, play physical. And they're showing trust in him right here. I think he's earned it. 2.38 left in overtime. Jordan Stahl checking that stick. Andre Kopitar, his opposite number on the faceoff. Buck is one back. Here's Doughty racing across. Drew Doughty in control off the end wall. Right in back of Ward. Hainsey is there. Conley stood up by Carter. A loose puck. Belmore off the body. Here's Richards. Holding on to it. What a play by Hainsey. Ron Hainsey got in the way again. Back it goes for Kopitar. Now Drew Doughty will settle it down. Doughty asserts. Holding on to it on the power play. Kopitar thinks about it. Richards in the ring. Mike Richards now trading places with Kopitar. Blocked by Jordan Stahl and back out. See the time left in the power play as we're in overtime tied at one. Anjay Kopitar over the line. 
Taking a swat at him, Ron Hainsey. It eludes Dowdy. Good break for Carolina. They kill more time. Carter would have been offside. It comes all the way back. Icing is called here. An awkward icing. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't want to take the offsides, but yeah, that is icing because the Los Angeles player was on the defensive side of the red line. So once again, even at a four on three, which is more intimidating for a penalty kill than a five on four, the Canes apply pressure. Eric Stahl, Jeff Carter now in this face off. One by Carter. Stahl gets after it. Kopitar now will sort it out. Flushed out by Eric. Andre Kopitar barrels out to center ice. At the line, this way for Richards. Mike Richards going deep. Sekera's on him, a steal. Justin Falk, out she goes. He anticipates so well. You have Sekera with the pressure coming back, starting before that with Eric Stahl off the ice and the stick of Falk to clear. Here comes Doughty. Drew Doughty. At the line, they gain entry. Mike Richards wipes it ahead. This way it's Kopitar. Sekera for Carolina. Getting to it is Falk. Alertly off the boards. All the way down to Jonathan Quick. 104 left in overtime. 25 seconds on the King power play. It's brought out here. Through the middle of the ice, Dustin Brown. Drop pass, Justin Williams. Williams holding onto it. Knocked up by Belmore. Jordan has it. And the Hurricanes get it out to center ice. Here's Hainsey. He's flying. Ron Hainsey goes deep. He'll hunt it down. Hainsey. Jordan. His shot ricochets. What a recovery by Quick. A skate save on the chance for Jordan Stahl. Harrison's out of the box. 30 seconds left in overtime. Williams wide of Ward. Willie Mitchell up on the play. Defended by Falk. Williams batting it down. A hand pass is called. And we get a stoppage and a faceoff outside the zone. Boy, we're seeing some efforts, I mean, from the goal right on out. How about the defense? I mean, look at that gap. See how tight that gap was from Belmore? And then watch the stick. Excellent play. Ron Hainsey at the end of it. Nearly finds Jordan Stahl to ice the game. As that puck goes off of Dowdy's stick and Quick has to make a good reaction. Sacker and Falk before that. The shifts were short. Been great to watch these two goaltenders tonight. Trevor Lewis goes deep. Justin Falk in control. Eric Stahl by him. A dozen seconds left in overtime. Shots 37, Los Angeles. 28, Carolina. Through the center zone, Eric. And now Senen. Three seconds left. There it is. Off the body. Off Willie Mitchell. And out of play. Well, time for one last attacking zone faceoff, I believe, here. And 1.4 seconds left. Do you have time to go back, or are you going to try to go forward if you're Eric Stahl here? I think you have time, if you win it clean, to get it to either Semin or Falk. He has two optional. Falk's going to line up on the wing, so he's going to try to win it to Semin and just fire it at the net. Mike Richards for the Kings on this faceoff. Here it is. And it's blocked on the way through. Jared Stoll got in the way of that shot taken by Alexander Semin. Overtime solves nothing. We're tied at one, and we'll go to shootout here in Raleigh. The Carolina Hurricanes won, the Los Angeles Kings won, and the shootout is straight ahead. We have a shootout tonight here in the capital city on this Friday night. Cam Ward and Jonathan Quick have put on a show. Yeah, I mean, they have looked every bit the two former playoff MVPs that they are. And, and, and really, for both of them, trying to round their games into form. Quick has been inconsistent so far this season. Cam coming off that knee injury, played very well against Detroit, took a step back against Pittsburgh, and now he has been just stellar in 36 out of 37 stops tonight. There were opportunities in overtime. Let's check it out. Well, Cam, all the excellent saves he made all night, he really didn't have to make any in overtime, including a four-on-three penalty kill. I mean, look at that positioning, the work of the defense. I mean, I mentioned it, Belmore, Hainsey, Sakura, Paul. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty darn good to limit a good power play to essentially no chances. The home team has the choice. Jonathan Quick will ready his crease. Jeff Skinner is on the ice, and I believe he will be shooter number one. You take a look at Cam Ward and his career shootout record. So Jeff Skinner will be shooter number one as the Hurricanes take the option of going first. 
Skinner has the game's only goal. An answer goal after Los Angeles took a 1-0 lead. It was a power play strike. And now let's see if he has some magic in his stick. 53 walks in on Jonathan Quick. And Quick denies Skinner. In lack of familiarity, I mean, Quick doesn't know Skinner very well with regards to the shootout competition there. He just outweighed him. The old classic, never try to make the first move. He went to the backhand, and Quick got over nicely. Andre Kopitar has been the leading scorer the last six years in a row for the L.A. Kings. The shootout sponsored by Blue Cross, Blue Shield of North Carolina. Live for the game, live fearless. Kopitar picks up the puck, walks in on Cam Moore. Who says no on Andre Kopitar? And, and like Quick doesn't know Skinner that well, Cam doesn't know Kopitar that well. And Cam got up gingerly. Yeah, he did, John. He did. Yeah, he, he really probably had to stretch that left groin, and he looks like he's okay now and just got enough of that pad down. Alexander Semin will try to break the ice now in the shootout. Alexander Semin comes in with a head of steam, walks in on Quick, and he's forced wide as Jonathan Quick got a pad to it. Well, he had him. He had him, and, and, and like we said in regulation, Quick's feet are so quick that you have to get the puck up. I mean, he had him here, mm. and it just rolled on him. Great flexibility by Quick. Jeff Carter. Already has an overtime goal, game-winning goal to his credit this week. Leading Los Angeles in terms of scoring, Jeff Carter moves in for a chance here on Ward. He scores! Jeff Carter banks it in off of Cam Ward. And the Kings break the ice in the shootout. Uh, of the four shooters that have gone so far, Carter came in with the most speed, and he did the best job of elevating the puck. And it just snuck in the post on the blocker side. Well, this guy has been the story of the young season. It rests on the shoulders of Nathan Gerby. So Nathan Gerby, four out of nine in his career. With a game on the line, walks in. Quick shuts it down, and the Los Angeles Kings pick up the extra point. Well, as I said at the top of the show, Gerby and Quick know each other very well because they work out in the offseason. At least they did this offseason in Connecticut. And chances are they worked on breakaways against each other. And it's just one of those uh, situations where it would have been great to win the shootout, but you can't let the sting of losing a breakaway competition take away from the fact that the Canes scratched and clawed, came back in the third period, killed the penalty in overtime, and got three out of four points in a back-to-back -back Thursday Friday final count here in the shootout it's the Los Angeles Kings 2 and the Carolina Hurricanes 1 coming up next we'll have Hurricanes live we'll take a look back at this one get some locker room sound and hear from head coach Kirk Muller 2-1 is your final as the Canes gain a point in the standings right here